A mysterious criminal who calls himself the Eagle is plotting against the directors of an airplane factory whom he has tried to frighten with warnings written on the sky in smoke and fire. The directors have reason to suspect that the Eagle is Nathan Gregory, owner of a small carnival show, who has accused them of stealing from him an invention that is worth a fortune. Craig McCoy, stunt flyer with the carnival, discovers that the patent on which the directors base their claim to the invention was sold to them by a mechanic named Kelly, a former employee of Gregory's, who is now in jail charged with having murdered one of the directors. Gregory's daughter, Jean, pleads the prisoner, Kelly, to tell the truth and clear her father. Pat, are you sure you're telling the truth? My father's whole future depends on what you tell now, Pat. All right. I'll tell everything I know. I did sell the plans to Green. But there was another man who knew about it. And he, and he's been trying to cash in on it. Who was it, Kelly? Speak up, Pat. You've got to tell us. I'm signing my own death warrant. But I'll tell for you, Skipper. The man is... The shot came through that window. You two men get out of the back way. Get Gene out of here, quick. What about Danby? Danby. Uh. You get some bandages and I'll phone the doctor. He's gone. Turn him loose, Henry. Turn him loose? Why? He's the Eagle. He can't be. He was in the jail when the shot was fired. Kelly wasn't killed. He's made his getaway. You know, he'll probably head for the carnival grounds. You get out there and hide him. He's still in danger. Yeah, listen. What are you going to do? I'm going to the factory and wring the truth out of Danby. Evans Airplane Factory, quick.
try and find that plane. Say, someone just phoned in that plane made a forced landing out for the country club. Come on. We've got to work fast. You two follow that police car. Okay. Moore, you come with me to the factory. We've got to stop McCoy. Come on. Keep quiet and everything will be all right. Otherwise, it'll be just too bad for you. Hello? Give me Mr. Danby's office, please. Danby speaking. Why, uh, Mr. Ward has charge of the boiler room. Call him. Well, I can't locate Mr. Ward, and something's got to be done quick. All right. I'll come down. Don't you never think of nothing? Don't stand there like a dummy. Get over to the factory and tell Craig what happened. McCoy. What's this all about? Never mind that. Kelly gave me the lowdown on you. You're coming through right now. How much? What do you mean, Danby? If nothing but money will stop the Eagle's crimes, I'm willing to pay my share. Oh, I don't want any money. What do you want, then? I want information. Information that will help me capture the Eagle and put a stop to his crimes. You mean to say Gregory is not the Eagle? Haven't I been telling you so all along? Gregory has been risking his life to find out who's at the bottom of this blackmailing scheme against you and the rest of the directors. Well, if Gregory isn't the Eagle, who is? Well, it's one of the directors of the company. Clark knew which one it was and was on the verge of telling when the Eagle killed him. I was in hopes that you knew something about it. I do know something. There's one man I'm suspicious of. Who's that? I don't like to make such a charge against anyone without more proof. You wait here while I do a little investigating. I tell you, you can't get in here. But they wouldn't let me in the front office. Why, well, then, stay out of here. Good afternoon, Mr. Ames. Hello, Frank. Leave the gate a minute, Frank, and come over here quick. Yes, Mr. Ames. What is it, Mr. Ames? 
What do you mean, Frank? Why, didn't you call me? Well, you're dreaming this afternoon. Hey, you! You can't come in here. Get out of here. What did I tell you? Come on. Come on. Kelly's at the carnival, all right, but he won't talk. Why not? Well, he's scared stiff. Gene and the skipper haven't shown up at the carnival yet. Come up to room 204. Yes, 204. I found the proof. I'm sure of it now. He's the man I suspected. He is, uh... Hello. Come on, Henry. Here, I have a key. All right. What are you doing here? I just heard the attack on Danby over the phone. He found out who the Eagle is. Whose office is this? This is Mr. Evans' office. Surely you don't think that... What else can we think? Don't let Evans leave the building. I believe you're right. We can't afford to take any chances. Get more men. Search the building. Question everyone. Come on, McCoy. Henry and I will wait here in case he comes back. This is all a blind. Somebody's trying to put the blame on Evans. Danby phoned from 204 and this is 206. This is 204. Hello. You better get the plane away quick. The cops are down there now. Now this proves that neither my father nor Craig did the sky riding. It's a radio controlled plane. Yeah, Gregory and his daughter are there, too. You better act quick. The girl is in the plane now, fooling with the control board. I can see it. That plane contains a friend of yours, Miss Jean Gregory. Oh, yeah? Well, I happen to know that Miss Gregory can't fly a plane. She doesn't have to fly this one. It's controlled by radio. I'm sending it up, McCoy, up 5,000 feet above your carnival. And then it's coming down in a depth plunge, 300 miles an hour. When it hits... Stall him as long as you can. Where's the call in room 206 coming from? From the laboratory on the roof. Thanks. Don't let him get away! 